All right, so let me show you the speaker comparison lineup that I have for, to compare with this one here. All right, so the next speaker that I'll, we'll be comparing it to is gonna be this little guy from Bose, one of my older speakers. After that, we'll do a comparison with this one by JBL. And then finally, this big guy, which obviously is not a fair comparison, but when you think about something that says a uh, title called Base bucket, this is the one that kind of fits that profile. It's a behemoth, but you know, you pretty much get what you pay for on this one, and this one delivers. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our comparison. Now, I know not all of these are going to be equal, you know, uh, but I would say for the price and what you get, I think it'll be equal. I mean, obviously, this looks more appealing. That's pretty much what it has going for it. All right, so let's get started. Let me go ahead and pair and get some music uh, going. So we'll, we'll go with, um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll play a little snippet of music on this. Then we'll go to this one, this one, and then this one. All right, I'm gonna play around 20 seconds of music per speaker. Okay, first off, we're gonna start off with the bass bucket and starting now. <laughs> Okay, next up we have the bows. Okay, next we're gonna have is the JBL speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of move this off to the side so it could kind of be the same, um, you know, distance how we had with this other one. And then last but not least, we are going to go ahead with the big one, which is right here. Again, really not a fair sound comparison, but at least you'll know what a speaker of this size will be as far as quality. All right, this one is made by Ultimate Ears and it's called the Hyper Boom. All right, guys, so you could already hear the comparison of all of them, and it's pretty much up to you. I mean, obviously, this one blows all of them out of the park, as this has more dynamic, it has more speakers, and it's a little bit more punchier. Another positive is that it does have an app, and you can customize the equalization for more of a different sound profile. The price for this one is around $300, and it's just a pretty much a big rectangle. So there's no fancy lights on it you know all the work and everything was mainly for sound and that's what this provides so if you don't care for lighting but you want good quality sound that's the best way to go again this one's 229 and you get more of the show compared to sound quality and then we have these other speakers over here the JBL you know is pretty punchy and it's a small one it's like a nice little tube so you could also you know stand it up like this have it like this or stand it up this way and it's really compact take it anywhere kind of speaker and then same goes for this little bose one this one you can't really stand it up well you i guess you could but mainly it's meant to be like this 
it's a small little kind of smaller obviously than the JBL uh, this is I bought this so long ago you know and I think the price of this one I'm not a hundred percent sure anymore as when I bought it I think it was around a hundred or 150 for this guy the JBL uh, I have to look at the price for that one but what from what I was told this was around a hundred dollars so again it all kind of depends on what you're looking for for a speaker you know each one of these has their you know positive and negatives uh, this one I used to always use uh, but after a while you know uh, I wanted something with a little bit more punchier bass and that's why I moved up to this one this one's a buddy of mine's and he let me use it for this video because I wanted something a little bit uh, another speaker to kind of compare to not just only the small one to this gigantic one so he let me use his speaker uh, for this video which by the way I, I appreciate it thank you uh, for letting me use this uh, speaker for the video and also with this speaker you got uh, your speakers over here and then I would say the, the bass parts are coming in from this side and on this side so there's two I would say two mini subs on this particular speaker all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do one more sound check put each one right here in the middle play a song for around 20 seconds and then move on to the next one So my overall thoughts about the speaker, like I said before, speaker sound quality wise, it's not on par with the other speakers as far as quality of sound. It does suffer a little bit on that and especially how it's advertised, not what I would expecting. The name of this is called Loud Lid Bass Bucket. If they can just remove the bass bucket part and just call it a loud lid, then yeah. It does get really loud for you know its price point or whatnot or i was just say in general as a speaker it is pretty loud but to put bass bucket at the end of loud lid i i would suggest for them to remove that as that's a little bit misleading and kind of false advertising really uh, other than that it is cool i do like the lights on it the overall aesthetic you know it being a motorcycle helmet you know it is pretty cool also with the designs and everything you know as i spin it over here so you guys could see everything you know I, I like that as 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 far as that goes you know having something like this in your your moto cave an office maybe or just at your desk you know just to have something like this you know also being able to lift this up you know changing that picture obviously i don't even know why to even show a cruiser and i don't even and that's another a few negative things about it is that when you turn it on it has that cruiser harley sound it's a sport helmet put a you know sport you know motorcycle sound startup you know something that's going to relate to how the helmet looks definitely not like a harley that's so weird you know i like it that you could open the lid you know and it has that light you know you're, you're able to put a picture there i will do one in the future you know where i have my own picture there just wanted to give you some information about it as there's not that many videos about it stay tuned i will have another video on this particular uh, Bluetooth helmet speaker on how to change the color of these designs, these yellow designs over here to any color you want. And then I also have, you know, a little spoiler about how to change the LED color in here as well. And also how to actually put your own picture in this department. If I do get any updates on this particular Bluetooth helmet, if there's a any uh anything new that comes up with it if i get any information or how to do it i will for sure share it with you guys so let me close out the video i mean other than that pretty cool you know uh, definitely you know something to think about if you're in the market don't forget guys link in the description of where i purchased this one down below while you're down there hit subscribe notification bells leave me some comments tell me what do you guys think about this particular helmet speaker was this something you would get share my videos you know not, i'm sure there is not a lot of uh, videos out there anyway so share it to friends family whoever post it on social media so that we get the word out about this particular speaker other than that i would say overall all in all i think it's a pretty cool speaker you know to own all right guys take care catch you guys in the next one